Now we want to characterize convex functions which are differentiable in terms of their gradient. Um, so let's give the following theorem. So let uh, C be a subset. Um, this subset should be convex. And for technical reasons, we also want this subset to be open. Uh, open means for every point in the subset, you also have a, a, a ball around this, or equivalently, uh, the subset is equal to, in, to its interior. Um, the reason why we want that is that the, the uh, limit value for, uh, for the derivative should, or for the gradient, should exist for all possible ways to approach a point, and therefore open is the right setting. Um, okay, then uh, for the function f defined on c uh, with values in r, uh, since we're talking about differentiable functions, it doesn't make sense to talk about uh, ex uh, so extended real value functions, functions which are plus in infinity somewhere. Um, the following are equivalent. First, uh, f first point, um, f is convex. Second point, um, for all x and y in C, we have f of y is greater or equal than f of x plus gradient f of x, y minus x. Third point, for all x and y in C, zero is less or equal than gradient f of x minus gradient f of y, x minus y. Okay. Um, is Um, let us talk about a bit what this means. So, if we if we draw the picture of a convex function and a convex differentiable function, then our picture should be like like this. Um, you have this curvature, um, uh, and whenever you have points here, uh, like x and y. Uh, we have we have already seen that this this line which connects these points in the graph should be above the graph. Uh, what does the second point now mean? The second point means whenever we um, uh, we take this thing here, which is the first order Taylor approximation in the point X. So this uh, yeah should be tangential to the graph. And this uh, is always below um, the graph at other points. So this is always below f of y. So this tangent here is below f of y, which holds for this picture. And the third point is a bit more abstract, and this corresponds to uh, the one-dimensional notion that whenever you have a convex function, then the first derivative is monotonically increasing um, or non-decreasing. This means whenever you take the difference between uh, two gradients and the, the difference between these these two points where the gradients are taken, um, then this always, if you multiply them in one dimension, in one dimension this corresponds to multiplication, then you always get a non uh, yeah a non-negative number. This means whenever you have um, x greater than y, uh, then gradient x should also be, or 
derivative of x should also of f at x should also be greater than derivative of f at y and vice versa so in one dimension this corresponds to the non um, uh, the non decreasing uh, property or increasing non strictly increasing property of the derivative and therefore this is called monotonicity Okay, um, uh, let's see if we can prove everything. Um, we'll probably need a, a bit more space, so the proof will be completed in the next video. So, first of all, um, whenever we have con uh, a convex function, let's prove that, uh, um, that this property holds. What can we do about that? So, first of all, we have to choose x and y and c. Okay, um, what does convexity mean? Convexity means um, f of 1 minus lambda x plus lambda y is less or equal than uh, 1 minus lambda f of x plus lambda f of y. Okay, so here we choose lambda between 0 and 1, obviously. And we will, we will make lambda precise later. Okay, um, so the thing is now that uh, we, we, we have um, we, we want to we want to actually let y go to or go to x and then see where this where this leads here and therefore um, uh, this this will give the, the the like the difference quotient um, therefore we want to make um, this f of x we want to to to, to make 1 minus lambda x plus lambda y go to x, then uh, um, the whole thing goes uh, go, goes obviously to, to, to f of x less or equal than f of x. But uh, when, uh, when, we, when we divide by lambda so that we get actually a difference quotient, then we, we will get to the, to the point. So let's, let's write this a bit more clearly. Um, what we what we want to write is the difference quotient here. Um, so the difference quotient here, if we just reformulate this, this will be x plus lambda y minus x. This is the left hand side. And now we subtract f of x. Okay. And then on the right hand side what remains is lambda times f of y minus f of x. Okay, so if we divide by lambda, then we get f plus lambda y minus x minus f of x divided by lambda, this is the desired difference quotient, less or equal than um, f of y minus f of x. Okay, uh, what does that mean? Um, now we can, uh, here we apparently don't have lambda left, and here we have the difference quotient. This holds for all lambda, so this, this holds for all lambda, and if we let lambda um, go to zero from above, since uh, we only have the interval between zero and one, um, then by the chain rule, uh, this is the derivative of of this function here with respect to lambda by the chain rule this is gradient f of um, x y minus x in a product less or equal than f of y minus f of x and I think we're done that's exactly 
what we have to show if we move f of x to the left hand side. Okay. Let's briefly um, proof the uh, point points uh, that we can go from point two to point three. So let um, x and y be points in C. Then uh, by two we have f of y greater or equal than f of x plus gradient f of x y minus x and now whenever we, ch we change x and y um, the th same thing must hold because property 2 says that this holds for all x and y in C so we have f of x greater or equal than f of y just interchanging x and y plus gradient f of y x minus y okay and if we sum up this then we get f of x plus f of y greater or equal than f of x plus f of y plus gradient f of x um, something is wrong Ah, uh, no, uh, everything is right. Um, um, gradient f of x minus gradient f of y. And here we have y minus x. Uh, minus because we have minus gradient f of y and then minus x minus y here. Okay, and since these things are like the same, we can uh, neglect them on both sides and therefore if we bring this to the other side um, then we have zero less or equal than and now gradient f of x minus gradient f of y x minus y okay and this points uh, this proves po point three given that point two holds in the next video we will uh, go back from point three to point one to actually show this equivalence and we will also discuss what happens if the function is twice differentiable